Hey everybody, it's Tracy again. Um, I'm going to share with you a mini album that I made this week, this past week. Um, I got the idea from Ginger on my sister scrapper here on YouTube. And um, she, it's a paper bag album using Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck. And um, I'm just trying to use up some of my stash that I have in my room without buying any new supplies or anything. Um, and I'm also, this also is new as me using my camera like everybody else does. Um, my tripod hates me. <laughs> and so my husband rigged up a little thing with some hemp rope and a carabiner to hang it from above, so up there, so that you can see my work down here. And um, so just bear with me if the video is kind of goofy, like they usually are. Um, so that I'm hands free and can do share my videos with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, uh, the paper stack that I used is uh, Die Cuts with a View uh, Tatter Times and There is some Costco paper in here as well as some Graphic 45 and maybe a few other, maybe some other die cuts with view, I don't know, but there's a little bit of everything just because I wanted to keep the same color scheme and same type of theme as well. So, um, I'm not sure if you can see right there. I just took some tin Colts gears that I got in a wish, uh, I grant your wish type of theme in one of my scrap groups on Facebook and I added some glossy accents to hold it on there and it's also on the top of the album as well um, right up here and then right here my friend Debbie uh, found a video on YouTube a gal had created, well I don't know if she created so much but she uh, shared a video of a different way of doing a closure on this and it almost, I guess she said it's like a Tim Holtz similar to one of Tim Holtz products um, and it's just some brads and you just stick them through the eyelet and punch a hole in your in your album and then uh, fold the backs, the legs is what I call them, onto the album. And then I just took some hemp rope and tied it. I'm not really crazy about it just because it doesn't like to stay closed. So that's what I did for that on the closure. Um, so you open it up like this. And over here, I just took one of the tape measures strips from one of the pages that was in that stack and covered, because right in here somewhere is that brad, and I didn't want the legs showing. But there's still plenty of room for a picture here, or journal or something. Over here is, there's a little flap that she had done on hers as well, and so I figured out how to do it, and then I found out that she's going to do a video a series on it so we can learn how to do it. Um, so it opens up like this, <coughs> and then I have a little tag in each one, and the tags are, let's see here, they're 5 inches by 4 inches on there, and then on the top up here are some other tags um, that I did, and I'm not sure, let's see if we can zoom in here, if you can see that right there. Um, I just used one of my Fisker punches. It has like three punches in one. So that's what I did on there, on those. And then um, also here on the top is actually I took uh, some of my see-through ribbon, black ribbon there, and then just put a little piece of brown ribbon on top of it, on those. And they just slide in here on the top of the, the album. And it, um, there's six total flaps, I guess is what you'd want to call them. And so they have the same basic theme with the four by five tag and the eight by four and a half tag. And it is kind of tricky to put it in there. You kind of have to make sure it's on either side of the part where the bag folds out. Otherwise, it's going to get jammed up and then you fight with it when you're trying to make your video. <laughs> So then we go to this page here, and I didn't do any embellishing just because I think this paper has enough detail that it doesn't need any more embellishing on it. And this is one of the Costco papers 
the, I, this was several years ago at Costco's. They had a big folder, I don't know, a couple hundred sheets of paper in it for like 20 bucks. And so I called my friend or texted her and I said, Hey, Dee, I said, Costco's got this paper. Do you want me to get you one? And I was telling her what was all in there and um, how much it was. And she said, Yep. And, you know, I still to this day still have lots of that paper left. So it's pretty simple to make this album, um, and my other album that I'm going to be making, well, finishing up, is the same type of theme, only it's a Valentine's album on that one. And that one was really hard to do just because I'm not much of a pink girl. Valentine's or not, I'm just not. Um, so let's see, we've got a couple more flaps here. But lots of places for pictures or what have you. Excuse me. Um, my husband rigged up my camera for me and he did an awesome job. So thank you, honey. So that I don't have to fight with a tripod that doesn't like me or whatever. Because my problem was is this is probably my 20th take on this album. The tripod legs wanted to collapse and my album was bigger than the area that I had. So he rigged it up with some hemp rope and a carabiner and we're good to go for now and future videos. I just have to get used to doing it upside down. So and then on this piece here I put some paper on there because when I adhered the cardstock to the chipboard I didn't do it right and there was like a big old bubble there there was a big old bubble here and so now you don't see the bubbles so that's my album and I hope you like and thanks for stopping by